All right, lastly, we're gonna see some proofs that have no premises whatsoever. This may seem a bit odd, but if you recall the definition of logical consequence, whereby Q follows logically from P, if it can never be that P is true and Q is false, then if you suppose that P is a sentence that will always be true, it's a logical truth, then it'll follow from any sentence whatsoever. Let's see how this works. The last thing to show for week eight is that we can prove certain things without any premises at all. And anything that follows from an empty set of premises, we might write this up here just to show that there are no premises, is itself a logical truth. We can do this with assumptions. So let's prove a logical truth, which is, we'll write it as our goal down here, not P and not P. It just can't be the case that A is a dodecahedron and A is not a dodecahedron. It's either a dodecahedron or it isn't. This is sometimes called the principle of non-contradiction, and it is a logical truth. Here's how we can prove it. We want to introduce this negation sign, so we assume the opposite of what we want to prove. Now recall our earlier technique of working backwards, and we can see that the main connective here is the negation sign. So what we want to do is to derive a falsum for the sentence P and not P, which means we have to put it into a subproof as an assumption. We're assuming again here the opposite of what we want to prove. So suppose that P and not P holds. I'm going to number these. So the P on line two, we can derive by conjunction elimination on line one of our subproof here. We can likewise derive not P by andalim on one, but this just gets us precisely what we wanted by two, namely a falsum, which we can introduce by falsum introduction on two and three. So our assumption P and not P is false, and this just gives us our goal down here by negation introduction on one to four. And we did all this, notice, with completely empty premises. Why can we prove some things with no premises and we can't prove other things? Well, because these things are logical truths. In general, anything that we can prove without any premises is itself a logical truth. And with that, we've wrapped up week eight. Uh, so as always, if you have any questions, just let me know and I will wait to hear from you.